Okay guys, what's up? Welcome to my new tutorial. This time, I'm just gonna do a remake of my last tutorial. So my last tutorial was Timer Sony Vegas tutorial. I'm just gonna go ahead and remake it because the viewers keep asking me a lot of questions by PM or by comment. So let's begin with right click and insert video track. I'm gonna right click on your video track and insert text media. Now I got one user complaining that the timer always restart every 5 seconds. That usually happens when you add a timer because you forgot to change the length here. So it will restart like every 5 seconds when you modify it. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and instead I'm just gonna replace this with like 11 hours or maybe like uh maybe like 10 minutes. Okay, so 10 minutes. Now delete the whole effects here. Just delete it, you don't need it. Now you right click and you go to media effects. Now you just scroll here into the Sony time code. You add it and then you click OK. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my untitled preset here. It says my time is in 25 frames per second. It's SMPTE EBU uh, in the middle, in the middle, and you're just gonna make it the biggest. Now let's play the timer. And the timer runs well. Oh, wait a second. You want to stop the timer, right? Do you want to stop the timer at the moment? Okay, I'm going to teach you on how to stop the timer. In order to stop the timer, just find a moment where you want to stop the timer. So I'm going to stop it at 5 seconds. There. You're going to right click. <clears throat> You're going to right click and insert remove envelope here. You set to velocity. You add a velocity there, so you basically add a keyframe for times. Now you're gonna right click here and set it to hold. And then right click at point. The idea here is to make it at 0% so that it would stop. And I'm gonna explain it here. When it runs at 100%, it will run at the normal speed. But when it runs at below 100%, or maybe like minus 100% it will run reverse so I'm just gonna go ahead and find five minutes here uh, five seconds now I'm just gonna drag this point right onto the time cursor and then if you if you have any trouble to find the exact location of zero here you're gonna right click and set to zero there now your timer stop wait the timer stop how to start it again okay now let's find a moment where you want to start it. I want to start it in 8 seconds. So I'm just going to right click and add point. Now this time I'm going to right click and set to normal velocity. The idea here is to make it at 100% so that it would start again at the normal speed. See? It will start again at normal speed. Okay, that's the way on how to add a timer on Sony Vegas. And I got a lot of users complaining about this. Now the idea here to make the timer goes backward is just to make it at minus 100%. So when we go for 0%, it will stop. When we go to 100%, it will run at the normal speed. But when, when we put it at minus 100%, it will run backward. So it, it's just simple basically. Just drag it down like this and you're done. It will run backward. Okay guys, maybe when you look at this, you got a complaint about this. Why it started 11 hours? I'm gonna explain that when you modify this length, this length is basically the length of your timer and when will it start? So when you wanna make a 10 minutes countdown, there's 10 minutes over there. You can just basically make it in a 10 minutes countdown. So you see it here, you start from nine minutes, it start from 10 minutes, and then goes back to zero. Now in order to stop at the moment where you want to, just do the same thing. I'm just gonna stop at right here. Okay, now if you want to stop it right there, or maybe right here at nine minutes and 57 seconds, you're gonna right click and add point again, just do the same. And the idea here, just to make it 100% or normal, so that, whoops, I'm sorry. Now in order to stop it, the idea here is to make it at zero so that you can just basically continue the time. Uh, just drag, I just I must drag it here first. Zero there. 
Now drag it here, and right click and set to zero. There. Now the timer stop again. Now if you want to start it again, I mean you want to start it backward again. You're gonna right click and add point. And the idea here is just to make it at 100% reverse velocity. When you see it, it will goes backward again. Now there you go. If you have any question about this timer, go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you find this tutorial a little bit troubling, I'm gonna put an annotation so that I can explain what the hell is going on. Now, if you want any tutorials like this, if you want more tutorials like this, go ahead and please subscribe above. You can just go ahead and submit your idea by just visiting my channel because there's a moderator, you can submit your ideas free. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe because you're going to get a lot of Sony Vegas tutorials like this. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. And I'll see you guys later in the next video. Only if you subscribe to me. Bye-bye.